Over the course of its life, an air suspension compressor will be activated millions of times, supplying the system with air as the vehicle travels over different road surfaces. If the compressor becomes overworked or faulty, this can illuminate the warning lamp on the instrument panel and log fault codes in the control unit. In this video, we replace the air compressor on a Land Rover Discovery 4. Phoebe Air Compressor 185706 comes complete with the relay, pipes and fixings to cover earlier Discovery 3, 4 and Range Rover Sport models fitted with older designs of compressor where the pneumatic pipes require modification. This is outlined in this Phoebe Pro Tip Bulletin which can be found at www.partsfinder.bilsteingroup.com. To begin the process of replacing the air compressor, set the air suspension into jacking mode before raising the vehicle. Ensure all doors are closed. Start engine and allow to idle. Press and release suspension control button. A warning symbol illuminates to indicate suspension is being raised. The warning symbol illuminates to indicate suspension system is in maximum ride height mode. Switch ignition off. Open the bonnet, lift the fuse box cover and remove relay R7. With the vehicle raised, take off the left rear wheel to gain greater access. Remove the lower protective plastic cover to reveal the compressor. Unclip the two connectors from the wiring harness. Remove all pneumatic pipes from the compressor, ensuring no road debris enters the pipes. Remove the two lower bolts retaining the bracket to the chassis. Then remove the mounting bolts for the compressor. Remove the compressor. This then allows easy access to the upper bracket retaining bolt. Remove the bolt and bracket, then take off the upper protective cover. Install the new upper protective cover, ensuring it slides behind the solenoid valve. Then, with the new compressor on the bench, remove the three mounting bolts and springs. Install the new bracket with the single upper bolt to the chassis. Then slide in the compressor and install the mounting springs and bolts, then tighten. Swing the bracket and compressor up to align the two lower holes and install the fixing bolts. The new compressor comes complete with new quick connectors. Therefore, all old olives and pipe nuts must be removed. Align and slide in all three pneumatic pipes into the quick connectors. Clip together the two connectors into the wiring harness and attach to the chassis. Install the new lower protective cover. Refit the wheel and lower the vehicle. Install the new relay and carry out a software update if required when modifying a vehicle with an older type of compressor. Deactivate jacking mode. Alternatively, jacking mode cancels automatically when the car is driven. Finally, road test the vehicle to check for correct operation of the air suspension and steering. 